I love a story. And this story reminds me of when I was just a little guy. You remember when you used to go to the beach and your mom and dad would, would put this kind of horsey kind of thing around you just to keep you from going bob, bob, keep your eye on your bobber? <laughs> well, this story reminds me of that. The Cadborosaurus, or caddy as it's known, is a mythical sea serpent that was sighted up and down the coast of British Columbia near a place called Cadborough Bay, which is how it got its name. The first reported sighting of caddy was back in 1933 by a lawyer and his wife who were out on their yacht. And the sea creature was described as a, a horrible sea serpent with a head like a camel. And since then, there have been over 300 sightings of caddy. In the year 2000, caddy was spotted in Active Pass, which is a narrow pass that separates two of Canada's Gulf Islands, Main Island and Galliano Island. There is this woman, her name is Lisa Lake, and her family home is on Galliano Island overlooking Active Pass. One day she was looking out the picture window of the home and she spotted in the pass a serpent coming out of the water. As Lisa stared at the creature, it slowly submerged and made kind of an S-like motion, and its body disappeared. Well, there was no one around to verify this, and because her mom was a science teacher and was very skeptical about these things, when she told them, they just laughed at her and told her she was crazy if she thought there were any sea monsters in the past. Well, a year later, same thing happened. She was looking out the window, and there in the pass was Caddy. But this time, her grandmother was there. And she yelled out, hey, Grandma, Gra Grandma, you got to come and see. There's a, there's a sea serpent out here. And because Lisa was an art instructor, she literally burned the shapes of Caddy into her brain so that she could draw a picture later. The serpent kind of had an S-shaped body with, with two humps coming out of the water. Two humps that were connected to a long neck. And at the end of the long neck was a head that looked like a horse, kind of a droopy nose. So because her grandmother was there, her family no longer thought that she might be a little crazy. But they never saw a sighting of Caddy again. Next time on Red Earth Uncovered. I decided to uh, put the fire out, so I started throwing some logs into the ocean. It looked like it was actually watching us. Well, the sea serpent, as an artist symbol, is a very powerful symbol in our longhouse. We actually refer to it as Hagkanetal, which means, you know, the sea serpent.